I trust in God, I love my country, and will respect its laws. I will play fair and strive to win, but win or lose, I'll always do my best. we're going to meet the champions of the East, you might say, but it's the very far East, from the Republic of China on the island of Formosa. First of all, the first baseman. Huan Zeng Yi. The second baseman. Yi Hong Pi. Shortstop. Wang Kai Pi. Third baseman. Yi Hong Kai. Here comes the left fielder. Chen Hong Chin. And the center fielder. Wu Yan Zhen. And the right fielder. Lin Jian Liang. He's a big boy. Here's the catcher. Tai Zhong Wei. And the pitcher. Chen Zhi Yan. <laughs> Those are the starting teams for the two teams in the World Championship Final. We'll see the first pitch in just a minute. Look at them. There on the hillside, officials estimate, are between 25 and 35,000 people. That would easily break the all-time attendance record for Little League. There are banners here in Chinese, as you can see, as well as in English. Behind the plate, this is Sai Sui. He'll be wearing number in and calling the singles. And his pitcher, Chen Shi Yuan, who pitched nine innings of no-hit ball the other day and throws a strike for his first pick. Solid wood on that, but the right fielder is coming over. And holding it in is Lin Chen Leung in right field for the Republic of China. This uh, Chinese player can throw pretty good. I never uh, saw a, uh, a bunch of kids that can concentrate like these boys do from China. I was watching that pitcher warm up. Uh, he warmed up for about 30 minutes before the game started, and he could hit that uh, catcher's target almost two-thirds of the time. You walked him. Uh, some of them looked pretty good. In that game that this boy struck out 21 guys, he didn't walk anybody. Well, there you are. He pitched nine innings, which is the most they allowed on a pitch in Little League. And that is in there. Yeah, and here's the throw to second. Ooh. Just in time. Or I watched him work out before the game, and they can really handle themselves on the infield. But Corbis is out of there. A strikeout victim. The first of the game. Two away now. Two on. Top of the first. A shortstop. He's got it, and there's the force play. <laughs> that was little Zhong Ki Ping making the play, throwing it to Chen Hong Ki, the end of the first inning. And they didn't score. The first hitter will be Zhong Ki Ping. He's a little shortstop. That guy's the first guy up. He's got to get right in there. Pitching, remember, for Santa Clara is Chuck Carvis, number 13. So far in tournament play to get to this final game has allowed no earned runs in six ball games, and he pitched a no-hitter in his first game here in Williamsport. Eight. Three, he's out of there. The next hitter will be Huang Chung Yi, who weighs precisely 80 pounds. He's the first baseman. Santa Clara did not score in the top of the first. One man's parents came from up in the mountains some six years ago by a school teacher. There's the National China flag flying. Whoops. Unintentional, but he's out. This is Len Chen Leung, the right fielder. And it's true, and in the right field. First runner of the game for China, two out, one on now in the bottom of the first, and the hitter is Chen Chi Yuan, the pitcher. That's before this, when he came in here at 180 pounds, he weighs one. A half and half here today, wouldn't you? Well, there's plenty of leaders to get from Taiwan. Yeah, there's the foul ball that is in play, but we couldn't quite get to it. It was right up against the screen. Yeah, I think it's the same, and we asked David before the ball game if he was any relation. He said, I don't know. David is out of there, the strikeout victim of Chen Chi Yuan. This is a slow motion, Mickey, of this pitcher's motion. I know, look, uh, he is so deliberate. I've never seen a kid so deliberate. He's almost exactly like, uh, I mean, you see major league ball players right now that's not that uh, de uh, deliberate and uh, have as good a control. I never, he's really got good control, too. 
reminds Yuan. me of a Chinese Mel Stottlemyre, really. Yuan has now thrown 33 pitches to that one, and he strikes out the batter, Jeff Walsh. Counts to drop Chatty, a ball and a strike, and a little nibbler back to the pitcher. Over to first, and he's out. The side is retired. Coming to the plate is Ko Yuan Chi, the center fielder. He's also a pitcher for the Republic of China. Ko Yuan Chi. I think we had a good example of him not arguing a while ago when he Ko Yuan Chi has been up six times since he came to Williamsport. He's had four hits, including one home run. And in the semifinal, he was the pitcher. This time, he strikes out. Yu Hong Ki, the third baseman. The salute. Not to the catcher, but to the umpire. That's really a cute bunch of kids. Ooh, a hard ground ball. Right past the third baseman. Jeff Walsh and NLA left field were fielded, fielded by Gabe Reyes. Goes oh. the ball, it's a wild throw. The catcher backing up, however, very alertly holds the base runner to second base. Up now is Chen Hong Ching, the left fielder. Scheduled six inning ball game, remember. He laid that down pretty nice. Second oh. baseman over, but he can't get there. Runners at first and third. They call time out and come over to get his instructions from the manager. Number seven, next catcher, In earlier games, by the way, whenever they had this situation of runners at first and third, they've always sent the runner down. Now here's the situation. Runners at first. The wild pitch, here comes the runner in, and he scores. Here comes slow motion of this play, Mickey. Yeah, uh, he doesn't slide, Jim, and uh, the catcher threw the ball back to the, the pitcher or the first baseman, whoever was covering home. It almost hits him right in the head. Watch this. Island of Taiwan, a Formosa, leading one to nothing. Another wild uh, pass ball. And another mm. run scores. <laughs> other runner, Sai Sui, is down to third base. It's a pass ball this time. Here comes the second run. Uh, he almost gets hit in the head, too. Uh, yeah, watch this. If he didn't get down, he would have got it right in the head. <laughs> As you said, they better start sliding into home. Human instinct, huh? Oh, that's a hard one. Straight in the center field. He hit that ball good. By the fellows in the Naval Reserve in Williamsport. Runner at first and second. Down ball is short. Over to second, there's one, and that's all they can get. Like the Chinese boys have been doing, and send the man down to second, see if they would play on him. Right, three, he's out of there. And moving in to the plate is Chen Chi Yuan. Somebody said that their bats are a little bit heavier than the uh, American boys bats. Well, there was a controversy and actually a protest yesterday to that effect, but we have a statement from Little League Baseball Incorporated that says to the press, the bats used by the Republic of China team are approved Little League bats and meet all Little League specifications. So, that's the ruling. Now, you notice that the pitcher for China, see if he does it this time, on almost every pitch turns around. Yeah, he he turns around to the outfield and holds the ball up now, I don't know what he's saying to them. Runner on first, nobody out, top of the fourth. And there's a sharp shot to the second baseman, a line drive, however, and he's out. I guess if there is a single word to describe this Chinese team, Mickey, it's discipline. All the way down the line, from their playing to the way they uh, respect their manager, the umpires, everybody else. I was watching before the game. I guess they have certain ones to play catch with. They play long catch and then short catch, and then they throw to the relay men. They really do have a lot of discipline. It doesn't look like he's throwing any harder, but uh, that ball is zipping in there. <laughs> no balls, two strikes, two out, and that's it. The side is retired in the top. That of was the a changeup, then, Jim. A good changeup. Slow into third base. See if he can get him. Oh, oh. wild throw past the first baseman. Oh, that ball is going down the line. All the way into the right field corner. He is headed for third. Now he held up for a moment. Now goes into third base. Gets there easily, and the throw is to home plate. Bunt in the second inning in the midst of their three-run rally. No 
Another shot at the third base, and he's got it this time over quickly. Good play. Gee, that was a good play by Lanford. There's the ball, but let's watch the play at first. Well, that was a good play by the third baseman. There's the ball on the right of your screen. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, in their own home championship game, there's a fly ball to right center field. The oh, oh, I, nobody called for it, but the center fielder got it. Hit the throw of the plate. He tags up and away on that fly ball to center. And now the batter is Bunke. Little helmet problem there. I think basically it's just too heavy for his head. No, again a brown ball to the third baseman. Again the throw. He's try to score. He's got him, and here comes the runner to the plate, and he's safe. That third baseman's getting to work out this inning, isn't he? Yep. There's the throw to first, and now the throw to home. A ball and two strikes. Nobody out. Top of the fifth. Right three. Ray. Down ball to shortstop. Doubled up as the saying goes and over to first. No question about it. Just like the big leagues. That's right. They're so smooth. I'm Play with Zung Ki Ping to Wang Chung Yi. Right. And that was to the first baseman and he's going to cover it all by himself. At least he hit the ball, Jim. <laughs> Wang Chung Yi unassisted, making the third and final put out in this inning. There's another Chinese bound. Boy, do we need an interpreter. <laughs> There's also a group of people with a banner that says Team of Taiwan, not Republic of China. Political implications, even at the Little League World Series. I made my mistake when I went down and met them all. I kind of fell in love with all of them. <laughs> yeah. And this punt is fair. The second baseman covering, takes the throw, and although he slid in alertly, Three. Well accomplished before five runs score. The boys from Formosa will take the Little League World Championship back home with them. What an achievement that would be in their first year in Little League tournament play. Yuan has now just thrown his 80th pitch in the ball game. Carbis, the batter, has thrown 98. And I'll tell you, this Yuan boy looks like the Great Wall of China right now. He looks just about impregnable. If these kids keep playing ball uh, for five or six more years, the United States would better not invite them over here. <laughs> <laughs> Looks exactly like he did. In fact, after the first inning, he just got better. He's so smooth and deliberate. He throws the ball where he wants to. Chen Chi Yuan, five feet four, 104 pounds. Tallest boy in their squad. Tip again. Up and back. Count remaining. Four, three and two. Two out. Nobody on. The sixth. And apparently the final inning. And that got the catcher on his uh, right hand or arm. But he shakes it off. <laughs> Could be the last pitch again. His third opportunity. Strike three. It's all over. from the island of Formosa, defeating Santa Clara, California, 5 to nothing, taking the Little League World Championship back home with them in their first chance at Little League tournament play. They beat Guam and Japan to get here. They won three games in Williamsport and have finished a tremendous achievement. All of them 12 years old and under. They perform with utter and complete poise. Well, Mickey, what'd you think? Oh, uh, it's really something. I was, I was just watching the boys from Santa Clara come over and pat number 17, the pitcher, and it's it's really something. It almost makes you want to cry. <laughs> it's too bad the whole world couldn't get along like those boys right there are. We're number one in English and in Chinese. Until next week, then, this is Jim McKay along with Mickey Mantle saying so long from Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Air travel arrangements for ABC's Wide World of Sports made through United Airlines, who also furnished promotional consideration. Today's program was pre-recorded.